Five Nights at Freddy's. Was that the bite of 87? One of the most influential and most popular gaming franchises of all time. I'm sure every single person who's watching this video knows there's a Five Nights at Freddy's movie coming out. I'm kind of into FNAF again. That's something I didn't think I was ever going to say again. And I want to do a little tier list. It's not, this video is not going to be super long or nothing. I Originally was gonna put like every single Final of Freddy's game. No, I'm just gonna I'm only gonna put the ones that I really played which are mainly the main six I'm sorry to say but help wanted and security breach aren't gonna be on this video because I've never played those FNAF games and I'm probably never gonna play them. and I've also never played ultimate custom night either and I know it's free and everything but I don't really feel like playing it listen there should be no surprise but Sister Location and FNAF 3 are going to be the bottom of the list. I'm sure you're not surprised. But which one I consider worse? Drumroll. Sister Location. It's going to be the only one really at F. Because I don't really think there's any bad FNAF games, but... Actually, no, 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 no. I'm playing an E. I'm playing an E. Because you know what? I do have a lot of nostalgic memories, but I'm not really trying to be super nostalgic. The gameplay of Sister Location is really boring in my opinion. And literally all of it's easy. All of the game is really easy to me. Sure, I think it's a little creepy, but that's it. A little creepy. Nothing else. I think Foxy is like the only thing that like scared me. Like jump scared me that entire game. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Foxy. And those little marionettes things because that one game mode, that one little challenge where you were in the spring locked and hang on, I do got to commend the game for this. When baby, I'm pretty sure it kidnapped you and you got put in this spring lock like suit. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was actually really good. So I have to give props to Sister Location for that. Uh, other than that, wasn't really that big of a fan. I also got the secret ending with Ennard and yeah, that was pretty cool. I liked how it went to like the old Five Nights at Freddy's style. And yeah, pretty boring game besides that really hard mini game. This attraction is great. So many guys I can and of course, next we got FNAF 3. And listen, don't judge me. FNAF 3 was really, really hard for me straight up have to spend like three hours on like night five because i i don't know i don't know why i just sucked so much with fnaf 3 because first night it was Lightwork, really no easy reaction. nothing even happened second night i think spring trap was kind of moving Lightwork, there no might reaction. have been one or two phantoms third night Lightwork, a little no harder reaction. fourth night pretty hard not gonna lie i do remember struggling on the fourth night as well but the fifth night I got no clue. Please, someone tell me I'm not the only one that thought FNAF 3 was actually hard. Because I spent longer on that FNAF game than the first one or the second one. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not like a huge fan of it. I'm not, I don't really hate it. I mean, I hate it because of how hard it was, but I don't really hate it as a game. I don't think it was half bad. And sure, there's only one animatronic just chasing you which is spring trap and by the way best design i didn't have to tell you that you knew that but sadly fnaf 6 kind of had to ruin that but we don't talk about that nothing is going to be f tier because i don't think there's really a f tier game i'm just going to put fnaf world there because actually no 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 i'm putting security breach there okay this is not very fair but it's going to be fnaf 4 so the first time I played it, it was on phone and everything. I remember buying the game on my phone and I did, I did okay. I think I lasted to night, maybe three, three or four, give or take. So I remember doing actually pretty good. But when I came back to it, nah, I am now finishing the game. I'm hearing Oh my!
I know you all can dislike the video if you want. I did not finish a FNAF game. I couldn't because I'm not going to lie. It was actually really scary. The designs were really scary to me. And the jump scares that FNAF 4, dude. And also, I want to tell you this. You need hearing to actually like, be good at the game. And I do not have good hearing at all. The next one on the list is, I'm pretty sure FNAF 6, that looks like FNAF 6, so I'm putting it there. FNAF 6 is really underrated, I am not gonna lie. And of course, I don't think it's as good as the first or second, but I, I do think it's a really good and underrated game. Having to actually like manage a pizzeria and salvaging robots and having all four of these different robots just roaming around in vents, I actually had a lot of fun and building a pizzeria is like something I actually like always wanted when I was like younger not like in real life more like in a fun game but yeah I really liked playing this game and I'm sorry FNAF 6 easily has the best ending like I would have been happy if FNAF ended at 3 with that ending it, it was like a perfect bow to actually end everything and of course like everything didn't actually end spring trap came back and everything and it was kind of all for nothing i don't think i don't think that really takes it away still would have been a really good ending and i kind of consider it the true ending of fnaf and of course fnaf one and two which one of these do i think is better this this is a tough one but i think the second best fnaf game has to be The second FNAF game and whoa 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 I was thinking about putting out one but FNAF 2 I love this game I really liked it because I actually felt like skillful like playing this game and I'm not gonna lie I thought it was actually easier than three I only played it till night five that's how I played with all of these except FNAF 4 but with FNAF 2 it felt a lot easier just because so much things was actually happening and I could build like more muscle memory around it and I felt like really focused like playing the game it was like really intense and maybe that's why I had like an easier time actually beating it but FNAF 2 everything was it was so good I love the pizzeria it's my favorite pizzeria I don't know the FNAF map doesn't really matter at all with like playing the game but like I feel like it's like the best one if I would go inside like any of these places I feel like the FNAF 2 would be the best piece of route to actually be in there's just so much good to say about the game like I'm pretty sure it has the most animatronics uh, am I saying that right by the way animal animatronics animatronics i don't have to put animal in front of me i think it has the most animatronics out of any other fnaf game besides ultimate custom night i'm pretty sure fnaf 2 has the most animatronics since we're on fnaf 2 i kind of want to ask this question why is finance of freddy so sexualized recently like when i was younger and like i was seeing like finance of freddy's like music videos i was seeing like youtubers play the game i'm seeing top 10 sexiest animatronics why i just want my innocence back okay i don't want to see no more furry shit okay leave me alone i don't want to see any of that no more and also there's a dead child inside of all these robots what's wrong with you guys <laughs> I want to explain why I'm feeling like FNAF 1 is the best. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure on night 1, Bonnie and Chica like actually started moving at the end. And I was not expecting that. I'm pretty sure I still survived like first try. But when I checked the cameras and I saw, I think, Chica moving, I was actually scared. And I'm pretty sure Bonnie was like at the door or something. And besides FNAF 4, and probably 6 actually, not like... FNAF 6, okay, I know I just went over that game, but FNAF 6 was actually, like, really scary. But FNAF 1, 
maybe it's because like it was like my first time experiencing like an actual like FNAF game and not just like playing on my phone. With FNAF 1, it really scared me, but I had a lot of fun playing it. And I think I had more fun playing that one than FNAF 2 because that one with FNAF 1, it was still really hard. It was not as hard as FNAF 3 for me, but it was still really hard. Oh yeah, uh, I need someone to tell me this is a good strat. Whenever Freddy was like at my right door, I just like kept that door shut at all times. I don't know if that was a good strat. I mean, I it worked out, so it's not the worst, but I always just kept that door shut whenever Freddy was over there. That, that was the strat with Freddy. I, I kind of want to play the first game just to see if there's a better strat. I remember the game being really slow and I was always dying to like power outage. All right, that's another thing with FNAF 1, you have to manage like your energy. You have to manage like all the energy you have by shutting the doors and FNAF 1, I feel like took a lot of skill. I don't think as much skill as FNAF 2, but it's just, I don't know. I think you can tell with this video, I'm not very great at explaining things. I don't know how controversial this list is. It might be really controversial or it might just be some basic ass list. I know FNAF 2 and 1 is going to be basic. Everyone picks that, but it's true. They're like the best games. That's a bit about it. There's nothing else to be said, so goodbye.